Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Paz Casa. So this is a day after getting my butt handed to me. I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But it was fun, no less. Um, it'll probably be two or three, maybe four days until I get to the giveaway video for losing the bundle battle. The Bermuda Triangle battle. But... Till now, till then, uh, I got this video, and then we got Cosmo's bundle. Oh, I'm so psyched to get that one. I have a feeling my 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 magical powers will flow into that box. That's what I'm feeling. I feel it. I felt it since he asked me to crack something open for him. So, till then, this from uh, this oh. is my lady, technically. From Mr. Bevers, so we're gonna crack this open and see what I got because I, I was on the video, but I missed my pulls. So I'm gonna go through them with you and see what we got. All right, starting out with some commons. The uh, Hund operative. Let's see here. And I got a couple packs to crack open too. Got to crack packs, you know. Alright, Dehund Operative, Human Rogue, as long as you control an artifact, Dehund Operative gets plus one, plus oh, and has Death Touch. That's pretty nasty, I like that. That is a pretty good card. Don't know what it's worth, but it's worth a lot to me. Uh, Marshalling Cry. One and two white, Sorcery. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. They're cycling. Flashback for four. You play this card from your graveyard. That's pretty cool. I like that. Well, damn. I'm getting some good cards. I don't know what they're worth, but... They mean a lot to me when, you know... They can be played in a deck. That's what really all that matters. Uh, Cures Dam Breaker. I've definitely got a crap load of those. We all know what it does. There you go. There's the beautiful art. Uh, Nimble Mongoose. There we go. Okay. Nimble Mongoose. One green creature mongoose. Shroud. That's pretty cool. Threshold. Nimble Mongoose gets plus two, plus two. As long as seven or more cards are in your graveyard. Can't go wrong with that. And that's from... Uh, damn. Uh, Modern Horizons. And then... Hey, look. There's another one. From Eternal Masters. Same thing. That's pretty cool. Then we get some cards and some sleeves. We got Markov Blade Master. One and two red. Creature Vampire Warrior. Ooh, I might be throwing this puppy right into my my commander deck. Whenever Markov Blade deal Blade Master deals damage, combat damage to a player, put a one one counter on it. That yeah, psh. Why not? I will definitely be putting that in my build. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I like it. Wow, it's like a sword coming out of their hand or something. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Throne of the High City. It's a land from... Oh, I'm going to punch myself in the face. How about I slap myself? Uh, Chronicles? No, it's not Chronicles. It's Chapoopy. Um, put it in the comments. I know what it is. I just can't say it. So you tap it. Add co one colorless mana to your mana pool. Four, sacrifice throne of high city. You become the monarch. Well, there you go. Nothing wrong with becoming the monarch. 
Another rare, uh, Sepulchral Primordial. Okay, say that ten times fast. Five and two black. Creature avatar, Intimidate. When that Primordial enters the battlefield for each opponent, you may put up to one target creature card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That's disgustingly sick. I like it. What do you guys think? That is a pretty cool card. I think that's from this set, honestly. Not positive. Gut shot. Get him in the gut. All right. Gut shot. That's one Phyrexian mana. Or you can pay two life. Either. It says one Phyrexian can be paid with either one mountain or two life. Gut shot deals one damage to target creature or player. Well, already then. Pretty cool. Gotta love those single instants. Then we've got Fire Juggler. Two and a red. Creature, Goblin Shaman. When Fire Juggler becomes blocked, clash with an opponent. If you win, Fire Juggler deals four damage to each creature blocking it. Wow. Each clashing player reveals the top card of his or her library. Then puts that card on the top or, or bottom. A player wins if his or her card has a higher converted mana cost. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd play it much, but that's that. And the beautiful foil that I got is Cower in Fear. Yeah, you can't really see it in the with the sleeve on. But it is a foil. So that is uh, one and two black. Instant creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Not too shabby. Ooh, that's pretty. Acid of Life's Bounty, which is one planes. Enchantment creature, Nymph. Life Link. Tap one, sacrifice. Al Said of Life's Bounty, target creature or enchantment you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. It's a creature and an enchantment that can save pretty much anything. I like it. We well, thank you, Mr. Bevers. Those were some pretty kick butt cards. Very useful. I like it. And uh, we got four Oath of the Gate Watch. Let's see if we can pull some snot out of here. Something dirty. Here we go, Grammy. We've got Jace, two Gideon, and Anissa. Well, I'm a respectable man, so ladies first. Let's uh. And get you cracking, Captain. Here we go. Alright. That card was not from Oath of the Gate Watch. It was from something else that I was talking about. Uh, Protector, Mighty Leap, Consuming Sinkhole, Unnatural Endurance, Pulse of Marasa. Witness the End. Well, I hope not. Not ready. Expedition Raptor. Zara's Commando. Crumbling Vestige. Vestige. War Isle Avenger. Here we go. Uncommons. Reaver Drone. For one black creature, Eldrazi Drone has the void. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life unless you control another colorless creature. Well, why not make an Eldrazi build? That 
That finishes that. Ooh. Prisons of Brutality. Hope y'all can see these all right. For two, Enchantment Aura, Devoid, Enchant Creature, Can't Block. Whenever an enchanted creature deals damage, its controller loses that much life. Wow. I would say so. That's pretty nasty. Then we've got Relentless Hunter. One, a red and a green, which is Grow. Creature, Human Warrior. Uh, one and Grow. Relentless Hunter gets plus one, plus one, and gains Trample until end of turn. So it gets to be a 4 4 and it has Trample. Not too shabby. We've got a rare. Captain's Claws. For two, Claws for Paws. Yeah, get it? Yep. Yeah. So, equip creature gets plus one, plus oh. Whenever a crit creature attacks, put a 1-1 one, one white core ally creature token onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Equip is one. That's not bad, actually. And next card is a full art forest. Can't go wrong with that. And we've got a knight ally. There we go. Okay. I do like this older artwork in these older packs. I will put that land inside the lands that I will give away or sign. That's what I do with some of the full arts. I learned that from the Moss Boss because one of the first cards I ever got from him was a full art forest. That was from... Uh, Conspiracy, that's what it is. Conspiracy takes the crown, I believe that card in there was from. Alright, Spark Mage Gambit. Okay. Makandi Arnott. Amara Entangler. Saddleback Lagak. Unknown Chores. That's in New Theros. Beyond Death, which the set is deadly. You either get something or you don't. Kozilek's Punisher. Cyan Summoner. Looks like we get a foil. Alright. Core Sky Climber. Here we go. Grasp of Darkness. Woo. For two black. Instant. Target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. That's pretty good. I like it. Ooh, Meandering River. And there's Battlefield tapped. Tap it, add one white or blue. I mean, we know what that is. Alright, I'll put it right next to the artifact. Flying. Flaying. Tendrils. One and two black. Sorcery, devoid. All creatures get minus two, minus two into, until the end of turn. If a creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Well, alrighty then. We got a rare. Sylvan Advocate. Alright. Look at all the black cards we're getting. Sylvan Advocate is one in a green. Elf Druid Ally. Vigilance. That's not bad. As long as you control six or more lands, Sylvan Advocate and land creatures you control get plus two, plus two. That's pretty sick. Then we get an uncommon. Relief, Captain. Ooh, relief. Need some relief. Pepto-Bismol to, to your gut. I don't know, because of the gut wrench, whatever. And we've got a swampy. Nice. And a plant token. There we go. I do like those older tokens, so... Yep! Yeah. Got the foily. Here comes Jace. Let's get us a mythic. How about that? I guess older cards do smell different. Looks like I got another foily in there. I'm surpassing all the regular cards. 
I didn't want this video to go any longer than 15 minutes, and we're at 15 minutes right now. All right, embodiment of fury. Three in a red, creature elemental, trample. Land creatures you control have trample. Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you may have target land you control become a 3-3 elemental creature with haste until end of turn. Still in land. That's pretty nasty. I like it. So I'm going to move the black over. There we go. That's a Balath Null. For six. Jeezum. And it's Golgari, one of my favorite set. One of my favorite um, guilds. Yep. When Balath Null enters the battlefield, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. That's not bad. Alright, let's get us some mythic. Uncommon. Wall of Resurgence. That's a popular card. All right, two and a white creature of the wall defender. When wall resurgence enters the battlefield, you may put up put three one one counters on target land you control. If you do, that land becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. That's still a land. Nasty. We got a rare Glade Har Calvary. All right, let's read this one. I don't recall hearing this one, so... For seven, that's pretty high. Elf Knight. When Glade Heart Cavalry enters the battlefield, support six. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to six other target creatures. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it dies, you gain two life. That's not bad, though. It's a little steep. What do you guys think? We got a foil on this one? Nope. Ooh, that's a pretty island, though. I like that. And Eldrazi Scion. Alrighty, then. One pack left. One pack to crack. Here we go. Something nasty. Something dirty. Dirtiness. Hedron Crawler. Oblivion Strike. Stock Drone. Stocking Drone. Here we go. Harvest Thrall. For four. Creature Thrall. And as the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature or land. If you do, put two 1 1 counters on Harvest Thrall. I'd rather go like with a. a a token. If I'm going to kill something, I'd rather have it be something that I can generate back quickly. Common. Cliff Haven Vampire. Ooh. I do have that vampire build. I have upgraded it. I turned it into a... Uh, what is it? Uh, Markov. Yeah. Markov as my main commander. Cliff Haven Vampire for four... Two and a white and a black. Vampire warrior ally flying. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Yes, that might go into my build. I may put that there. I love my vampires. Gift of Tusks. One blue. Instant. Until your end till end of turn, target creature loses all abilities and becomes a green elephant. With base power and toughness, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, it's a great cost. It is an instant. But I'm sure there's some other instants out there that can do more than this. Not bad, though. I wouldn't use it. A rare Stoneforge Masterwork. Um, let's see here. For one, artifact equipment. Equip creature gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control that shares a creature type with it. Holy nuts. I could put this in my vampire build and I'd be golden. Equip us too. I might do it. We got a beautiful plains to land. 
There we go. And zombie, zombie. All right. I'm happy with my polls. What do you think? So tomorrow is our uh, lovely, lovely War of the Spark. There it is. Cosmo, it's all you, buddy. Coming at ya. All right. Shout out to Drago Games. That's where I got these packs from. All right. Deuces.